SAB's uh, Talon Nicole joining us in the studio to explain how social media users are feeling amid TikTok's possible ban. From trending dances to sharing favorite recipes, TikTok has it all. But if the app is banned, 170 million Americans will no longer be able to be a part of the scroll. To silence this large, massive voice is frankly un-American. House Democrats and Republicans say the measure is needed to protect Americans' data. The bill would also pressure ByteDance, TikTok's owner, to sell the platform. Right now, the bill is in the Senate waiting for vote. Enika Edenfield is a Savannah native, and like our neighbors, the Savannah Bananas, she quickly rose to fame on the app, prompting her to start her tour company. So I started sharing ghost stories, a little bit of Savannah history. I would go live at night and walk around with my dog and just talk about the things that I knew about the city and that resonated with a lot of people. So once things started opening up, people started asking for in-person tours and I decided to start my tour company as a direct response. Inika has 100,000 followers on TikTok and she says the app is different because it allows you to cultivate a community. I didn't plan to become an influencer on TikTok. That was never the goal. I just wanted to share about one of my favorite cities. And a lot of people have reached out and said that one, they either had never considered coming to Savannah before seeing my TikToks, but I helped them fall in love with the city. So now they wanted to come visit. Some even have moved here because of that. Uh, other people who have lived their entire lives in Savannah maybe didn't understand some of the history about the city. So I've helped them find a new appreciation for the city that they've always lived in. Enika says the possible ban worries her because what's next? Implications for what this ban would do. It starts with TikTok, where does it end? Because this isn't the only social media that is owned by outside companies. There are others. So if we stand by and allow this to happen to this form, which is a part of our free speech as Americans, where do we tell them to stop? The legislation states that if Chinese-owned parent company ByteDance sells the, doesn't sell the app in 165 days, it will be banned from app stores and web hosting services in the U.S. The legislation has passed in the House, and it will go to the Senate next. If it makes it, then it will go to the president's desk, and he has said he would sign the bill. Tyler Nicole, WSAV News 3, on your side.